Banjo had a pet rabbit. Oh, he's lovely, Banjo. Ah, hello, Mr. Rabbit. The little girl loved Banjo's rabbit. She liked the way he hopped. <laughs> You're hopping too, little girl, just like a rabbit. He looks a bit tired, Banjo. Perhaps you should put him back in his hutch. Yes, time for a rest, Mr. Rabbit. Come on. He doesn't want to rest, Banjo. I'll get him. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Rabbit. Then the little girl had an idea. A carrot. Rabbits like carrots. The little girl put the carrot in the hutch. And the rabbit leapt in after it. Oh, well done, little girl. Thanks, little girl. Do you want to come to the park with me and Banjo, little girl? We can play on the swings. The little girl did want to play on the swings, but Clarence was worried. Who's going to look after your rabbit, Banjo? You can if you like, Clarence. But don't let him out of the hutch. He might run away. Well, I've got plenty to do. See you later, Clarence. Oh, remember, don't open that hutch door. It would be awful if Banjo's rabbit ran away. So Clarence watched the rabbit. And watched the rabbit. And watched the rabbit. And he wondered if, maybe, the rabbit had finished his rest and wanted to hop around outside the hutch just for a few minutes. There, you can have just a little hop. But don't go too far. Oh, you made me jump, Boomy. Sorry, I only wanted to say what a nice rabbit you've got there. Oh, well, what a nice rabbit you had there, because it's not there anymore. It's gone. What? No. You frightened him away, Umi. Quick, we must find him before Banjo gets back. Clarence and Umi searched everywhere for Banjo's rabbit. Clarence looked in the bushes, and Umi looked up in the trees. Just then, the little girl came back from the park. Oh, little girl, I've lost Banjo's rabbit. I let him out of the hutch. Banjo will be so angry. Maybe I'll tell him that the rabbit opened the hutch all by himself and went for a walk. What do you think? The little girl didn't know what to think, so she went to see Neville. Tell Banjo a lie? Oh, no. Clarence mustn't do that. He must tell the truth. And he must say he's sorry to Banjo. Come on, let's go. Banjo and Juno were still playing on the swings, when suddenly... Mr. Rabbit, what are you doing here? Clarence must have let him out of his hutch. Go on, Clarence. Banjo, I've got something to tell you. Oh, it's very difficult, but... Go on. Oh, Banjo, I let your rabbit out of its hutch, and... I know, and I'm very, very sorry, and... There's a rabbit sitting on you. Yes! Mr. Rabbit came to find me, Clarence. He's safe. Oh, I'm really sorry for letting him out of his hutch, Banjo. Never mind, Clarence. Thanks for telling me what happened and for saying sorry. Thank you, Neville, for telling me what to do. No problem. 